good safety shot from Stephen. Looking for a way back to Bourne. Maybe the red just above the black. If Steve James could get through to hit that on the right hand side as we're looking, it could give him a path back to the bork end. That's the only ball I can see. Of course, when you play someone like Stephen Hendry, there is pressure on the safety. I thought about that one, Clive, but I never bothered to mention it. I think the only thing in his head was to screw the cue ball back down to the bolt cushion. But with so many reds moving, I suppose it's not all that surprising that one dropped in. To be fair to him, though, he did get that cue ball back at the near the bolt cushion. And all the red stayed in this half of the table, somehow. Steve James, one. Yes, didn't play the pot. Well, he didn't play the pot, but what a careless shot that was. If it had left the cue ball in the middle of the bolt cushion, Stephen Henry would have had a very difficult safety. As it is, he just plays off the one just to the right of the black. That was so careless, really, because he could have had Stephen in the same kind of trouble he was in before. And now he's got it. I wonder whether he thought, why didn't I just roll up to it? was a misjudgment by Hendry. He shouldn't have been taking the cue ball anywhere near the middle pocket jaw. Well, I'm sure Steve James can get through to this red near the left corner pocket, but he'd be hampered by the black. Well, playing this one into the right corner, this is a tough shot. But a good one. one. What a brave shot that was. Obviously calculated that uh, the much more difficult shot could pay a high dividend. Steve James, one. But he undoes his good work by missing a much easier pink to middle. Stephen. 16. The 
Just misjudged that slightly. I'm sure it'd be nice to be a little bit straighter on this red. And he's missed it. Stephen Hendry. Playing at 16. that speed, trying to hold for the black. So I'll let off for Steve James. Now, he can't get through to the red over the corner, but he can get through to the one that goes in the left corner. But he needs to trust to look for position. Well, two, two. for the price of one. This is unlucky. If that one had stayed near the right centre, it would have been another red and colour to come. But nicely on the black. Nine. Took the opportunity to develop another red, assuming that he would be on the one over the pocket, whatever happened. may have come a little bit straight on this red, but it shouldn't be a problem. I mean, he doesn't have to have a good angle on the blue. There's going to be a red over the pocket waiting. Ten. I mean, normally we'd like to see him on the right side of the blue, but in this case, he's only got to roll the blue in, and there's a red in the right corner. But that's when the problems do start, because there's not many loose reds after that. shot to continue this break after this black. Twenty-three. Attempted to leave himself on uh, that red to the right middle. that well Stephen if it doesn't go in Steve James have had a, a difficult shot on I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't let Stephen go again here I don't see the value of him playing the shot even though he can put it any the cue ball anywhere in the D Steve James agrees with my colleague John Virgo Good choice. Henry lucky to cover what would otherwise be a, an easily potable red to the left corner. Yes, that was a run, bad run of the ball for Steve James. Good run for Stephen. And it now works out that that decision to put him in again was probably the wrong one, only because of the run of the balls. That was unlucky. How he gets this safe now, I don't know really. He can't move that red, doesn't look as though he can, that's closest to the pocket. As I 
say, just unlucky, bad run of the ball. I think James actually attempted to plant two reds off a third and in off it into the pocket, but chance falls to Hendry. One. Surprised he played that so early. 16. There was another couple of loose reds he could have played for. He must have thought he had the perfect angle. He was wrong. Yes, meant to go into the top red of those two. Stephen Hendry, 16. So, he leaves the table, only three points in front. One. Looking at this red into the left corner, we'll be playing the one in the right centre, two straight on this one. Ball's not ideally situated, reds anyway. Now you're thinking of winning the frame at this visit, particularly the one nearest the left hand cushion. Good shot to develop most awkward red. Yes, that was an excellent shot. 40. Sets up the frame now. Played it with a lot of right hand side. And played at a good speed as well. So in knocking the red out, he knocked it over the middle pocket. He's not on it for this shot. But it's certainly there for later. the frame when he missed this and it just crept and crept one, one. and someone shouted go on and it did so can he take advantage of that well I could have done with a bit of luck like that in my career Clive James missed his chance late in the first frame of the evening. 25. 26. He could have won with a 60 clearance, but broke down on 35. 